All right, hey guys, so this video is mainly going to be about the new Humble Bundle that came out yesterday. This is the award winners bundle. Um, it has quite a few very unique indie games that are very highly rated, so I'll get through those in a little bit. Uh, but for that, I wanted to mention all the free games that are currently going on today. So on the Epic Game Store, you can pick up World War Z, which is an Epic exclusive. This is a co-op zombie survival shooter. It's similar to Left 4 Dead, although with a hell of a lot more zombies, and it's definitely a lot of fun to play with friends so I definitely recommend checking out World War Z then there's figment which is a cute adventure puzzle game with an abstract world and overall it's a pretty enjoyable experience and then finally there's tormentor X Punisher this is an intense metal twin stick action arcade shooter where you try to survive for as long as possible through each wave or hordes of enemies it's super fun to play for a short burst of time but it does get extremely challenging after a while so all these three games you can pick up for free currently on the epic game store there'll be a link in the description below. Along with this, there's actually quite a few games on Steam that are free for a limited amount of time. We have 100% Orange Juice, which is a pretty cute board game. It's pretty fun to play with friends. There is a lot of RNG involved, so keep that in mind. There's not a whole lot of skill, but it is an interesting game overall. Then there's 200% Mixed Juice, which is completely different. And then we have Uni. A lot of these are low-end indie games, so keep that in mind. I'm just going to go through them pretty quickly. We have between Two Castles, and there's Acceleration of Shiguri 2, which is a top-down like bullet hell shooter, and then there's Project Mercury, and then finally there's a game called Nafiz Begins. So all of these are free, all you have to do is scroll down, and then there'll be a button that says Add to Account. You can do it through the Steam browser or through the Steam client, and then they'll be added to your uh, Steam account forever, and you can play them as long as you want. So these are free for the next few days, I believe, and I think there's going to be more free games in the future, especially because of this whole virus or <laughs> ordeal. Um, so if you want to join my discord we post all the free games that are happening each and every day uh, so it's a great way to find those all right so now let's go back to humble bundle there's quite a few active bundles currently there's the new award winners bundle there's the humble capcom bundle full of resident evil and mega man games and so forth then there's the just drive bundle which comes with project cars project cars 2 lots of good games there and then there's the humble choice so the humble choice for march came with all of these games and next friday there will be a new monthly full of all new games so if you're interested in any of these bundles there'll be a bunch of referral links in the description below if you do, do you decide to get one of these bundles you can scroll down to the bottom and you can choose where your money goes and my name will pop up and you can choose to send me however much of the purchase as you like so let's go through the humble award winners bundle so starting out at the one dollar tier we have a uh, simulacra i'm probably mispronouncing that this is an overwhelmingly positive horror game about investigating a missing girl's phone it's an interesting concept it is fairly short and it's certainly worth trying out. The next game is Diaries of a Spaceport Janitor. Uh, this game has very positive reviews as well. It has a very atmospheric uh, vibe to it. It's an adventure game with a very unique art style and it has quite an enjoyable story as well. So I definitely recommend picking those up for $1. You really can't go wrong with the $1 tier. The second tier is currently priced at $7.58. You're getting Quadrilateral Cowboy, which is a very charming hacking puzzle game where you go on a variety of different high and steal various things. The story is very unique and it has some very well-developed mechanics, so I highly recommend checking that one out. Next is Yoku's Island Express. This is an incredibly delightful adventure platformer, which in my opinion is extremely fun and very unique. It has a wonderful art style and it incorporates a lot of pinball mechanics within the platforming, but it's really something fresh and something I would definitely recommend anyone trying out, especially if you like indie games. And then finally, there's the third tier, which includes some really good games as well. We have uh, Yuppie Cy Psycho, which is an overwhelmingly positive adventure horror game where you play as an employee of a corporation who's under control by a witch, and the witch is causing all sorts of crazy mayhem, tormenting all the employees. It's a very odd game, but very unique to say the least. Uh, next up, we have Owlboy. This is a story-driven adventure game that is full of charm from start to finish. This is one I actually played through the entire game, and while at some points I did feel like the gameplay could have been improved a bit, every moment was charming with lovely, vibrant graphics, interesting puzzles, and it definitely had a great story. We have a game called Sinner. Uh, this is an action RPG full of uh, very challenging demonic boss fights similar to Dark Souls. It's a rather short game and not as good as the other Souls-like games, uh, but it's a fun experience to say the least. Just keep in mind, it's not Dark Souls, but 
it's similar in that aspect. That's it for the award winners bundle. If you want to know my thoughts, I don't really rate this bundle very highly. I would give it like a 5 out of 10. It's full of some very niche but very unique indie games. Uh, if you like indie games, you'll probably enjoy the bundle, but I don't think you'll enjoy every game listed here. Um, if it were up to me, I would say the best games are probably Yoku's Island Express and Owlboy, although for $15, again, it's kind of expensive. If you really like a lot of the games here, I would suggest getting the full bundle. Otherwise, just pick up the $1 tier and get those trading cards and so forth. Uh, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.